Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Hey guys, I'm Christine Williamson here with Oklahoma State's Tylen Wallace. I'm gonna have him introduce himself with an ungoogleable fact about himself. What do we got? Um, one fact about me is I like to play video games. He likes to play video games. What video games are you playing? Black Ops 4, mostly. That's what's, mostly it. What's that? Black Ops 4. Yeah, what is that? I don't know it's that much about video games. It's kind of like a shoot, it's a shooting game is what it is. Okay. So, kind of like that little war video shooting game. Okay, do you play Fortnite? I play a little bit of Fortnite, yeah. How does Fortnite compare to Black Ops 4? Uh, they're kind of, it's two different separate things. So like Fortnite's kind of like a little like cartoon kind of yeah. thing. And then, you know, Black Ops is kind of like the, a little more realistic. It's more serious. Yeah, serious. Way so more. it's for grown-ups? Yes. Okay, got it. I play Fortnite occasionally. Okay. On my iPad, so it doesn't really count. Oh, you, you can. Know. I know, everybody always okay. says that. It's hard, yeah. it's hard. The only <laughs> thing you can do on your iPad when you play Fortnite is hide. Because you can't oh. really do that that much that the, fast. Okay, yeah, it's that makes huge. sense, yeah. yeah. So one thing that I did find about yourself on Google mm -hmm. is that you are a twin. I am. You're yes. a twin. Yes. Trayson, your yes. brother. Mm -hmm. You guys obviously grew up together, yeah. played football together. Um, I'm going to talk about his situation in a little bit. Okay. But what was that like growing up with your twin brother and playing football throughout your whole entire career with him? Uh, it was real fun, exciting time. It was real different. I mean. Um, just being able, a lot of people really don't have that opportunity to do that. Yeah. So it was really just a fun, exciting time to be out there and play football with your brother basically your whole life almost. Yeah, yeah. So he had to retire in June. How hard was that situation for you guys? Mm -hmm. uh, it was real tough just because, I mean, like I said, playing with him my whole life and then we had plans to be able to go to play college together and then go to the NFL together. So it was kind of tough being able for him to retire like yeah. that, but uh, definitely gonna keep him in the process throughout the whole way and we're gonna keep going. Okay, so something that I saw about you guys is that you parent trap people. You know what mm -hmm. parent trapping is? Yeah. <laughs> Where you switch up, because are you guys yeah. identical? We are. Okay, so you guys, Tell me a story about a situation where this happened, because I heard you do it to your teammates, you've done it to your teachers. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. All right, so what goes down in, that, in those situations? Okay, so one time in middle school, I was in, I don't remember exactly what class it was, I was in A class, and I was like, he just, well, I guess he was just walking by, and he looked in the window, and he saw me in class. Uh -huh. He was like, hey, come out here. So I went outside, you know, he was like, hey, let's switch. Like, let's switch, he'll never know. So we went outside, he gave me his hall pass, and he, uh, he went in the classroom uh -huh. and just sat down and just was in there. And then I guess like all the students knew, but the teacher never figured it out. Okay. So we just wrote it out until the end and she never figured it out. Because I would assume that you guys were wearing different clothes. Yes, we were. And right. did he have to take notes for you? Did he have to take a test? Did he have to like do anything? He, he had to take some notes for me. Okay. Yeah, so he had to write my name on the paper and everything. Uh -huh. But yeah, it played out pretty smooth. Nice. And you guys kind of switch it up on your teammates occasionally too, right? Some, yes, we do that sometimes. And they get you guys confused. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Okay. So I'm not a twin, okay. but what I've heard is that you guys have a twin tuition, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Where you know, you know everything about each other pretty much? Basically, yeah. Okay, so I really hope Trayson didn't tell you this. I reached what? out to him on Instagram. Oh, really? And I have, yes, I did. So I have 10 questions that I'm gonna ask you about Trayson uh, and yeah. I had him answer about you. Okay. Okay, let's see if you guys, if you guys get these right. <laughs> okay. okay, all right. The first question, I need to, th you to answer this for both yourself and for him. Okay. If he mm -hmm. could have a superpower, what would it be? If he had a superpower, what would it be? Uh, I'd say probably to fly. Okay. Maybe. What would you say for yourself? I would choose to fly, too. Trayson uh -huh. said that you guys would both want to fly. There we go. Why do you guys want to fly? Why I mean, is this a thing? Just... I feel like this has to be something that you guys have obviously <laughs> talked about. I mean, that's just something I feel like it'd be just a look at the views and everything. Uh -huh. Just be able to fly anywhere you want to go. You don't have to drive anywhere. I, mean, uh -huh. it's just, I feel like I'd just be the best one to have. You really. guys haven't talked about that? No. Really? No. You just know? Yeah. Okay. I mean. Okay. That's. I feel like that's a twin tuition. Okay. What profession would he most want to have? 
NFL, probably. Okay. And then... What about yourself? Me? Definitely NFL. Okay. So, he said mm -hmm. he would like to play video games for a living. <sighs> I should have known that, yeah. And he said for you, NFL. Okay, yeah, I should have known that one. Yeah. Okay. What video games is he playing? Black Ops 4? Same one. Really? Mm -hmm. You can play that for a living? Yeah. I mean, I guess you can. I don't know what's mm -hmm. going on in the video game <laughs> world, can. but apparently that's a thing. Yeah. All right. What is his favorite color? Blue. What's your favorite color? Red. That's easy. Got that's that one. Easy that one. one's that easy. easy. That one's yeah. easy. Okay. All right. If he could be an animal, what would he be? Um, a, a lion, I'd say, yeah. Okay, what about yourself? Oh, what would I be? A tiger, I guess. Okay, I he said that he would be a lion. Why, mm, why, okay. why a lion? I feel like for some reason you knew that even though you didn't know for sure. Yeah. Why a lion? I mean, just, I guess because they're kind of like, just a big, I mean, it's a lion. I mean, I guess it's just kind of big, Because <laughs> it's the king of the jungle. Yeah, like it's a lion, so I guess okay. I figured that's why. Why did you choose tiger? He said that you'd want to be a lion, too. Mm. Uh, tiger, I don't know, I was just a little different. I mean, they're kind of like, they're like lions in a way, but I guess they're kind of like. They're big cats. Yeah, big cat. I so mean, you're just trying to choose another big cat. Yeah, it's just a different one. He's the lion, you're the tiger. Yeah. All right. What is he afraid of? The spiders. What are you afraid of? Spiders. <laughs> like spiders. Yes, yes, those are both right. Why are you guys so afraid of spiders? Spiders can't really do anything to you. They can what just crawl on you, it unless it's like you? a like a black widow. If it bites you, it's just like a bug bite. If it's on a not, if it's on a poisonous spider. Yeah, I don't trust spiders. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't trust them. No. All right, who was the person that has influenced him the most? I'd say our mom, probably. Okay. What about for you? My mom also. Okay. You are correct. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. Both moms. Okay. Uh, how, in what way has your mom influenced you guys? Um, kind of just seeing how strong she's been. I mean, she's basically been kind of like a single mother basically our whole life. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just be, being able, seeing her taking us to practice every day. Yeah. And especially in Pee Wee when you know, didn't necessarily really have to and being at all of our games. So yeah. I feel like that's just one thing that she's really just inspired me. That's dope. Mm -hmm. All right. What is his favorite food? Cheeseburger. Okay, what's yours? Cheeseburger. <laughs> you guys, okay, so this is the thing. When he sent uh, me this list, yeah. I was like, I feel like he's being lazy because he's putting the same thing for both of y'all, but uh, you're saying the same things that he said. Yeah. So I guess yeah. it's right. I guess that's right. <laughs> All right, what is his favorite genre of music? R&B. Okay. Okay. What's yours? R&B. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. You guys we are like the same all, like, person. Yeah, I mean, kind of like the same stuff. I feel like that doesn't happen with all twins, does it? Oh, no. I heard like some twins are like They're like completely complete different, opposite. right? Yeah. Okay. We have two more. Okay. What is his favorite ice cream flavor? Um, cookie dough. I'm going to go with. Okay. What's yours? Orange sherbet. Okay. He said his favorite is cookies and cream. Mmm, okay. Which okay. is close, yeah. it's cookies. Yeah, it's, it's just in a way. one's cooked and one's uncooked. That's true. He did say it's that your both. favorite was orange sherbet. Yeah. That's not a good flavor. What do you mean? It's, it's like not, not the best. I think it's not. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I what, think so. what? Okay, so what brand of orange sherbet are you getting? Because I feel like the last time I remember eating orange sherbet, I was a child, and it was like mm -hmm. in those big clear buckets, mm -hmm. which I don't know what brand that is. Big, it's just like the okay. bulk brand. So what brand? I, I mean, usually I get it from Brahms. Okay. That's just where I usually get it oh, okay. from. So. Got it. Last one. Okay. I feel like this might be the hardest one. What is his favorite song? Oh, um, I think, it, what is it? Yo, is Excuse Me Missed by Chris Brown? <laughs> I think I think that's it. That's what he said. What's your yeah. favorite song? Ooh, my favorite song. That's tough. I don't know if I could give a favorite song. I don't think I have he one. He gave one for he you. Did? Yeah. I can. I wouldn't even know. Really? He really? said "Pursuit of Happiness" by Kid Cudi. Okay, I can see that. Okay, yeah. Is that one that you listen that to? I mean, yeah, it's a song I like. Yeah. How often is he listening to Chris Brown's "Excuse Me Miss"? Um, like almost every Is that day. how he spits game? Try to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that yeah, how he yeah. spits game? That's how you that's know. Like, you're yeah. like, I, there he, he goes. At, He's playing the song again. Yes. Looks at the music video. Looks at everything he does. Uh -huh. in it. Yeah. Does he have the dance moves like Chris Brown? 
He tries to. He tries to. Okay. Okay. Well, good job. I feel like you got like maybe two wrong. That's like 80%. You got like Absolutely a B. Good. That's like a B. Yeah. You guys kind of know each other. <laughs> you guys are kind of the same person too, which is I think the most weird part about it. Because yeah. I honestly thought he was just being lazy. I'm like, you can't <laughs> say, you can't put the same thing for both of y'all, but that's pretty dope. All right, so shout out to Trayson for helping me with that one. That was, that was pretty dope. Yeah. Let's talk about you. Okay. So your freshman season, you were kind of under the radar. And then you just exploded onto the scene last season, your sophomore season. What do you think was the biggest difference between your freshman and sophomore campaign? Um, freshman year, I was kind of, you know, sitting behind James Washington. So I feel like that year was more of a, a learning year for me. So I kind of sat back and kind of picked up some tips from him, watched him in practice and just learned whatever I could from him. And then um, my sophomore year, it's kind of got to be able to go out there and show what I've learned and what I've been able to believed in myself that I could do, but I had to sit back and kind of observe. So I kind of think those are the main differences between yeah. the year. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma State goes six and six last season. How did you feel after the conclusion of last year? Um, I just didn't really, wasn't what we really wanted it to be as a team. I know that was a goal. Our goal is always a 10 win season, at least. I mean, um, and I feel like just as a team, we knew we needed to do better. So mm -hmm. this year, that's one thing that we're really gonna improve on. All right. so talked about improving. What kind of goals have you guys set for yourselves going into this football season? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, one thing that I think as a team that we are going into the season thinking about is um, make sure we're staying consistent and mm -hmm. competing. Um, I feel like one thing that we did last year, we didn't really necessarily take every game as seriously as we needed to. Yeah. And I feel like that showed up in the record. So I feel like uh, every game we need to go out there and just compete with every team. The first game, Oregon State, August 30th. You guys kick off Big 12 football. That's exciting. Oh yeah, definitely. Excited to watch you catch some balls. For Trayson, Tylen, and myself, I'm Christine Williamson. Thanks for watching, guys.